Arda. He can steal a guy that's four points. This is annoying because he can steal all of these. And also this and that. So I don't want to play. We got to go with plan B here. I don't have Ragnarok to push with. I want to save the Witchers for next round. So I'm just gonna play some dumb crap here. I can't kill that right away. I can kill it with Dolbratana Sentry plus Brewer, but eh. All these guys are gonna. Yeah. Ardal is using his power to. Now, now, now we don't really care. It's fine. I can just go with uh, Swordmaster. At this Let point, the, the plan steel. is just to play three cards, then pass. Arda used his hero power. I'm not what sure what crazy plan he has later to win. Uh, we can just play the Sentry. Saying GG but never send it. <laughs> okay. He does have some... Oh, like a, like a decent lead at this point. 25 points uh, with the tactical advantage. Let's just pass. So he really wants to get control over the game. But why? Although we might need a uh, Ragnarok. Round two. Okay, we definitely need the Witchers. Just to have like a bit of a tempo boost. Uh, Vrhi Dragoon is not gonna help us much. Get the Witchers. I want a Mulligan, but I don't want to get the Witchers. Unless I Mulligan Esco, but I, I need the Mulligan Roach too. Chance was it like one out of six. I think it's like two out of twelve or something like that. Maybe a little worse. Use leader ability and two engines. Now that's the kind of yeah, as long as we can somehow set up a long round, we should be good. And that's the tricky part. How do I set up a long round? I would have loved to have a Ragnarok here. If we have Ragnarok, I think this game's in the bag. The fact that we got a extra Witcher certainly didn't help. But we do have Roach. He has Roach too, apparently. I wanna seem strong here. So we are not like screwing around. This is like value generator, value generator, go away. That doesn't matter. We don't care too much about having last say. What we care about is having a long round. If he is willing to pay for a, a last say, sure, show me why that's so valuable to you. So, we are looking for Ragnarok, double trap card. Yep, that's good. Holding two traps. And your vet. This is a pretty good hand. We can possibly only Mulligan Lambert, so if this is not Ragnarok, then that's basically it. Yeah. We can't Mulligan anymore because we might get a trap, and your Gambit is gonna uh, be uh, less valuable. So, like, like, two out of six is that we get a crushing trap, so that's not good. So, we are just accepting this. Let's play the Swordmaster. May your sword and arm be one. <laughs> what do you guys think? What's his big finisher? 
that he used his hero power to, to secure a round three where he goes last. So I assume he doesn't have Ox. These guys are probably gonna die or get locked. I can kill that with Bruver Hog and uh, the Sentry alone. We can also lock it. So, a bit like, yeah, I don't know. Should I just prove her? You might want to lock something later. Oh, it's unlikely, but possible. This could get reasonably strong. Let's just kill it. You should struggle to do five damage. You should not have come here. The only thing I can think of is uh, Dragon's Dream Nivalan. I hate that combo. That's that that's the the go-to combo if you're if you don't have too much going on. Well, I guess it's gonna take some more patching. Um. Humans are not. Too So, seems like saving the lock was a good idea. It's gonna be played one before last. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna Elven Scout now. Only death here for Dwan. Then we Pitbull Trap. Maybe you are that. It's fine. Ooh, does he have a Commander's Horn? Doesn't matter too much, he's, he's lying up way too much for the Crushing Trap. It probably has a commander horn. Like they always have a commander horn. But I'm not gonna I'm gonna I'm not gonna try to disrupt that. This is fine. I like this. Uh I'll just pay a pitfall trap here. He might have some tactics cards, so yeah. I need to be careful. Um if nothing else, we can replay uh, the Mahakam Horn, so that should work. Um, just put this guy in the back. That that was probably too early. <laughs> yeah, that's probably gonna how we're gonna play this. We are replaying the Mahakam Horn. Um, yeah, sure. Let's make him scared about a scorch. So, that got blown up. Does that mean that he also have a Chiron X? How many more tactics cards he has? And would it be better to blow up a Chironax or just play a Mahakam Horn? Yeah, blowing up a Chironax is better, but not if... Yeah, we don't really have a choice. Now we gotta play Yorvid's Gambit. I don't think we can take the chance. Well, let's go with that. I strive above all to be just. Fine. I can throw this bozo in the back, if I care. But do we care? Like, if I boost myself, that's two. But if I mo move this guy, then that's a four. So, I suppose I care. Uh, let's Mahakam Horn.
I don't trust the peaceful trap, are you? I am who I need to be. Do that. Put this guy in the back. There you go. It works. Hey, Tsarn. What did you miss? We had some pretty epic games, I have to admit. GG, uh, Ardal. That was his finisher? Big Mama. We go second. And I have Ragnarok. I don't know if I want to fight people in round one, because they are insane! They are crazy! Every time I fight them, they are crazy. They are like, I gotta win round one. And it's so costly to, to fight in round one. I don't like it. I'd rather fight in round two. They're a lot more eager to give up there. Problem with traps is that they aren't points. Look at that. Rackus Queen. I think she likes a long round. I don't like a long round too. But wait. It's Rackus Queen. We got a new leader here, guys. May your sword and arm be one. Not really committed to tempoing. Just wants to get at his thinning. Hmm. They can hide. Okay. Queen is actually quite good now. They also run horn. She's in the lead by 16 points. Let's pass. Rushing trap is great, but rest. So the traps don't really seem worth it. They're okay. And they are better than okay if you consider their synergies. This is a great hand. Yeah, this is basically the perfect hand. We can have some better cards. But let's just say he might push us here. Ooh, that's annoying. Okay, let's go for some value generation. How much he values this uh, Barbegazi? I don't know. How valuable is, is Barbegazi in his deck? The way I see it, we have two choices. Either we play the Swordmaster and try Swords to feel around how serious he is about playing this round. Or we commit with something like Ragnarok. It's kind of getting annoying. If I play Ragnarok here, it's actually gonna be pretty bad. Maybe we're just gonna Ragnarok last round, and we're gonna possibly trap here.
Chaotmel and shit. Also, he could be scared of a Mahakam Horn. Not the Mahakam Horn, but maybe a Pit Trap. Not something he wants to play into. Yeah. This was still kind of cheap. But I can hit him. I need to do 8 points. And seems like the only way to do it without losing a card is play Brewer. So we hit this guy. We need 8 points. If I play this and trigger it, that's 6. If I move, move with Brewer twice, uh, then that's just gonna be enough. Something else that really helps me here. But the Vrheed Dragoon can be just as good. Take a bit. This is six as well. Peace with humans. I buy that. Actually, no. We only need to move once because we have this. No, 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 no more hits. A pass. So we only need to use Brewer once. But it's, it's still a good call. Hey Adam, have you tried Free Commander's Horn Skellige Brand Lipid deck? No, it doesn't sound like uh, my kind of fun. Ooh, this is bad. Now we're drawing into the Witchers. I need to throw away the trap. And I need to throw away Roach. We got an extra Witcher. This is not completely hopeless. Even though we effectively has, have uh, one less card. Wing. We can just play the Elven Scout, I guess. We gotta play it sometime. But, yeah, I don't know what's better. Alvin Scott eating the removal or Pafko. Kidding me. Actually, that's pretty good. Now that uh, artifact counters are uncommon, these are good choices. But, you know, I would like to see some interaction Taste from your side, mister. I would like to Ragnarok your face, please. Not much left of that one. The Crushing Trap needs to be played, uh, one before last, maybe I'm just gonna do some Yorvet action uh, right away, and we play Vesemir last. You won't take us alive. That's annoying. So he has a guy that hits all the ones, right? And he becomes pretty strong. I didn't expect that. Oh, that's immune. Why wouldn't it be? Enough of this fast. Not immune. Uh, let's just play the horn.
damaging a random enemy whenever a unit is destroyed during your turn. That's gonna happen quite a bit. Maybe this guy should die. But not on his row. Just anywhere. Yeah, I'm gonna play the Pitfall Trap. Let's hit this in the back. And for Jorvid's Gambit. Fire is not really hoarding the points. It's annoying because this big guy is gonna eat all the you ones. The wrong oh, killed them all. What we should do here is trigger both crushing traps. Before he eats the guy. And just uh, gain a point. Moving my guy. Just to have nothing or have immune. I have 39 points. Can't wait for his combo. Show me the combo, man. I'm waiting for it. Do it! Woohoo! Wait, what? Even my stuff? I didn't know that. Oh, it's gonna die in the fire now. Still got... Ow. Really? It's a bit odd. It's a powerful deck, I have to say. It was annoying to fight. It lost, but... I'm playing Brewer, so there's no shame in that. GG.